Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So today is like a dark and stormy day. We're finally starting to get rain um, where I live in Northern California. It's just like, it was like so hard to like get anything done today. Cause you know, I don't know, like for me, I love this weather, but when it's like gloomy and stuff outside, like all I wanna do is cozy up on the couch and like watch Lord of the Rings. I don't know. Anyways, I just wanted to touch bases with you guys really quick. I'm gonna do a very quick grocery haul and then I'm going to do um, a quick Michaels haul. I got some holiday stuff at Michaels, so thought you guys would be interested in that. And I'm gonna try to be like bulk filming some videos for you guys because I'm gonna be out of town for a good part of December and I hopefully I can get all that stuff done because I know that um, I didn't get a video up for you guys on Sunday of this past week, which is pretty rare for me, but we had family in town and stuff and you know, you just wanna spend time with your family and all that. So anyways, quick grocery haul. Not all of this is interesting, but I'm gonna show you anyways. So I went to Sprouts. I got some garam masala, which is just like an Indian spice. And I got some onion powder because we were out and then I got some black peppercorns because we were also out of those and I'm gonna try to make uh, chicken tikka masala in the instant pot so wish me luck so for that it calls for like crushed tomatoes some butter some onions am I the laziest person in the world do you guys are you guys like wow Serena it calls for onions so I got free chopped onions because like, I don't want to chop the onions but the instant pot put the onions away the instant pot Lebeau, can you be quiet please thank you but the instant pot has like the saute function so you can like saute the onions in there so got some tomatoes and then i got some boneless skinless free range organic chicken breast to make the chicken tikka masala it also calls for other spices but i actually already have that in the pantry i'm thinking i'm gonna make that tomorrow all right so i got some liquid egg whites these are the cage-free sprouts brand liquid egg whites i try to always buy like cage-free eggs and then also got eggs eggs because when my husband is home he's like always like wants eggs for breakfast and stuff you know got some french vanilla coffee creamer 35 calories per tablespoon six grams of sugar is this the non-dairy one lactose free non-dairy i feel like a lot of creamers are like that nowadays okay and then i'm trying this this is new um it, it looks like it's called steez lightly sweetened green tea this is the peach flavor this has dang i totally read the sugars wrong i would not have bought this i thought it said zero grams of sugar but it's zero grams of fiber this is 20 grams of sugar i this is like just goes to show you when you're grocery shopping you should pay attention lightly sweetened 20 grams 20 grams of sugar is like a hershey's bar so it's not lightly sweetened <laughs> my bad but anyways i got the peach flavor and the blueberry pomegranate so i get another flavor and then the lemonade okay here we go this one this half and half green tea plus lemonade has no sugar so i think what i did was i read total sugars zero on this and assumed all of them had no freaking sugar but these other ones do have sugar way to go serena buyer beware you guys learn a lesson from me read the back label of all of the things serena you derp sorry i hope the lighting's not so so bad but it is what it is i've got my like bright fluorescent lighting overhead this is frozen spinach i always buy frozen spinach so that i can throw that in with my smoothies and stuff like that when i feel like making smoothies now all the rest of this stuff is junk food this is this isn't food these are essential oils these are the now solutions essential oils let there be peace and quiet relaxing essential oils kit so it's got eucalyptus lavender and then i don't know what peaceful sleep is and then peppermint so I just, I don't know, I have the, the diffusers and stuff like that. If you guys are curious which diffusers I do have, like the essential oil diffusers, I'll link the ones, the diffusers that I have that I bought on Amazon below. I'm kind of just like, I go back and forth between like burning the crap out of my Bath and Body Works candles and just diffusing essential oils like crazy. Okay, so like I said, the rest of this is junk food. These are Dandies, vanilla marshmallows, vegan, gelatin-free, gluten-free, fat-free. Let's try these right now. I'm obsessed. Sorry, like, I hope my boobs don't look pointy and weird. Because I'm wearing, like, one of those, like, cloth triangle bras. Because I'm like, I'm just going out, like, to the grocery store and my boobs are going to be covered. Is that too much information? So I'm obsessed with the Trader Joe's marshmallows. And I tried marshmallows from Sprouts before and they were like, whatever. So I'm going to try them again right now. Not as good as a Trader Joe's, but pretty damn good. I like them because they're hard. 
which I don't know, is that an unpopular opinion? Liking hard marshmallows? Yep. I could eat a whole bag of these. 17 grams of sugar for two pieces. Wah, wah, wah. But whatever, it's the holidays. I'm gonna try to go on keto though in January, like after December's over. Let's see if you guys can hold me to it, if I will. But um, I know so many people that have like lost so much weight on keto. Now these, this is my first time trying these. I already tried this one. These are the Quest chips. My sister was up for Thanksgiving and she's like way healthier and leaner than I am. And she like really cares about what she eats like all the time versus me, not so much. But I'm trying to get better. You know, these are the Quest tortilla style protein chips. This was the ranch flavor. Yeah, like nothing to write home about, but there's a lot of protein for these chips. There's one serving in a bag and it's 19 grams of protein per serving and four grams of carbs. So that's like, you know, there's a benefit there, I guess, like if you're not getting enough protein, but I, I the ranch flavor, I was just kind of like meh. This is the nacho cheese flavor. We'll see how those are. These are junk. These are cheese curls made with real cheese. It's like the Sprouts brand. And then these I thought were interesting because they caught my eye because my sister was talking about protein chips. These are protein popcorn and they're just called Prots. And this is way less protein per serving. So this is eight grams of protein per serving. This is white cheddar. How many calories? 150 calories for two and a half cups. This is sweet cinnamon, 150 calories for two cups, two grams of sugar. So not a ton of sugar. Can you be quiet? I'm trying to film a vlog, guys. My dogs, I swear. Um, and then I think that was it. So that was my Sprouts grocery store haul. And then let me just grab my Michael's craft store haul really quick for you. Oh, and I also went to Pet Food Express and um, got some dog food for the girls. And I got Laboo another sweater. <laughs> this is that same Simply Dog brand. This was $12.99. It's a little Christmas sweater. You guys know I always buy Labu little boys clothes. Isn't that cute? It's a little, you know, Christmas tree on top of the car. Christmas sweater. So cute. All right, so Michaels. I got some stuff that I um, like had pre-thought out because I wanted to make two wreaths. One for my pantry door and then one for my front door. So I already have a couple of things that I um, had previously purchased because I had in mind like what I wanted to do for Christmas wreaths and I'll film a video on how I make them, but I just wanted to show you guys the stuff. So this was just like a whitewashed reindeer head and it was all their Christmas stuff is 50% off right now. You guys, their Christmas stuff is so freaking picked over. I'm like, wow. Usually before Thanksgiving, my whole house is decorated in Christmas, but this year I just didn't have time because I was like trying to prep my house for my house guests and I was in Las Vegas, so that ate up a lot of my time. So I just like didn't have the time this year to do that, but I wanted to put like this inside of um, one of the wreaths, maybe put some uh, Mod Podge and glitter on the antlers to make it extra glitzy because you know how I do. I got this which you'll see it's a wire hoop for for like basically for wreaths and stuff i want to do like a little scandy scandinavian like simple wreath which is like totally not my style but i've been seeing some and i've just been really inspired by them so i'm thinking i want to make like a cute little scandinavian wreath for the inside of the house so i'm really excited about that this pissed me off so Michaels has this like order online pickup and store feature that they've just been shoving down your throats. Like if you guys are crafters and you guys, you guys already know what I'm talking about. Like if you have the app and you're always at Michaels and stuff, they're like buy online, pick up in store. And so on Cyber Monday, I was online and I was like, mm, I wonder if they have anything. And they had 50% off of Christmas plus an additional 30% off if you shop online and pick up in store. So I was like, heck yeah. So I ordered like six of these. They only had one. So like I ordered it all. It said it was in stock. And then sure enough, like two days later, it's like, oh, your order's been canceled because we don't have any everything. And I'm like, that's annoying. Like I get that there can be like stock issues, but I don't know, something about it just rubbed me the wrong way. I was so irritated. So I only got one. I actually already have some of these from last year. These are just like the really inexpensive like wire faux um, garlands because I wanted to put them like above my cabinets in my kitchen with some like LED battery operated lights, but I don't know, we'll see. So this is nine foot, one piece, um, $6 is how much it costs, which is gonna be three bucks, right? Because it's 50% um, off. And then online with the additional 30, these were really cheap. So I was pissed that they were sold out of them so that annoyed me these I'm really excited about so these they did have in stock which to me is crazy because I think that these are so pretty so these are a garland they're so loud 
I'm really into bells this year. Like, for my holiday decor, super into bells. So there's actually two of these. They're originally $20. So loud. They're originally $20. I got them for 50% off plus the additional 30% off. These are six feet long. So I got two of them. How precious are these garlands? I just thought these were so rustic and so cool. And it's like three different types of bells. And like when I spent some time in Switzerland, it's been like two or three years now, but I spent some time in Switzerland and these just remind me of Switzerland. Like in Switzerland, they have like massive, like double the size of my head bells that look just like this. And they have them like hung in the old like dairies and stuff. And they actually have bells that are like smaller than this that go on cows. Like it's just a thing. Like, you know how in the cartoons you see like cows with bells? Like in Switzerland, there's really cows in fields with bells mooing. It's like the most like, I don't know, enchanting thing ever. So I just saw these and I was like, that is stinking cute. And it totally reminds me of like the Joanna Gaines, like farmhouse style. Um, but you can still glitz this up if you want to. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. I actually might remove some of these and like put them onto the wreath. I don't know, but I just, I loved them so much that I didn't want to pass them up and I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Super good deal on that. Um, what else did I buy? Like I said, I'm obsessed with bells this year. These I thought were cool. I'm probably gonna take off this whole red and green garland thing and just use the bells. So these are really cool. These are just like large silver bells. Love these, stinking love these. This was $12, 50% off, so $6. And then this was 60% off and these were $7. So 60% off was seven bucks. I thought these were really pretty. These are like galvanized. This, I was like, oh my God, this is gorgeous. This is a garland. 50% off and it was 20 bucks. And it's kind of got like this frosted, I don't know, I love, 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 love this. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use this on my hoop wreath and just do some simple greenery and like some bells for the wreath in here to die for, so excited. So look out for that tutorial cause I'm gonna put that tutorial together. I'm actually gonna combine both wreath tutorials cause I'm like, I don't think you guys want two separate tutorials on wreaths. And I'll try to make it quick. I know my videos are like five million years long. I got a bunch of these. I think I got 10 of these. They're like catching on everything. This is the other thing that irritated me is online I ordered these. I ordered like 10 of these. Online they were like, oh, they were like, they're in stock. And then sure enough, I get a message saying, oh, it's canceled. Like they're not in stock. And then they go into the store and they freaking have them. So I ended up paying like whatever price I paid for them without the 50% off without the additional uh, 30, which is, it's just annoying. But anyways, these I was gonna use on my like white wreath outside. I just thought these are so pretty. And I love them. Is that it? No. Oh, this is so funny. Um, I'm very strict about my um, ornament decor, like as far as color scheme. I will only do like metallics or neutral natural colors on my Christmas tree. So like white, beige, bronze, gold, silver. So this fit the bill, the cinnamon roll. Isn't that freaking adorable? So these were $10, but 50% off was $5. And it's just like a glass cinnamon roll. I just thought that was so stinking cute. I'm like an ornament hoarder, so. And then I just got a bowl, of t a bowl, a bowl of twine. I just got a ball of twine, 120 feet. It was three bucks in their little uh, like dollar section. So that's it. I think this this weekend you're gonna see on this Sunday's video. I think you're probably gonna see a Black Friday haul if, if some of my stuff or from my cyber some of my Cyber Monday stuff is still kind of in the mail. I don't know. We'll see. I didn't get a ton of stuff because I'm not a hardcore like Black Friday Cyber Monday shopper because. I feel like the sales, they kind of dupe you nowadays and like say like that something's like the deal of a lifetime and it's kind of like, mm, you're having that sale all week long. Like you're not fooling me. Is that Grinchy? Is that Grinchy of me? Anyways, so I'm gonna end the vlog here because I know it's probably gonna be like a 15 minute long vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for this week's video and then hopefully I will have my Christmas, at least like a vlog of me decorating my Christmas trees. This week I have a lot to do and a lot to film. So I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will catch you guys in the next vlog and don't forget to stay tuned on Sunday for my Sunday video. Love you guys. Bye.